Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster, all the cells need to take this monster to rank 5, any gems I use will be reimbursed, and they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. It's time to look at Boss Durex. MC Boss has held all types of jobs, DJ, rapper, b-boy, until he found his true passion as a radio host. In his radio show, he plays the best beats, but he's also sort of become the voice of the people. His transformation into Boston Rex has earned him even more love and admiration from other citizens. What a cool looking monster, man. I love this guy. Alright, so this is actually an interesting monster because he has all five ranked up traits, which you normally see with paywall monsters, but SP is giving us this on Boss the Rex. Very cool. So you start the game off with Hardened. At rank 1, this is where he becomes the most valuable because you get the Taunt trait. You receive all single target attacks as a permanent trait, which means you can utilize this with any dodge area teammate. At rank 3, he gets even better because you get the Tough trait. So instead of 20% chance I'm not going to hit with negative effects, it becomes a 35. At rank 4, you should get stuff that helps you out, a 50% life shield to yourself at the start of the battle. And then at rank 5 again, you block 50% of incoming damage. So this makes you really hard to take down. Now most of the time this will get cleansed away. So at the end of the day what you really have is that taunt and that tough. But again at rank 1 I would say that's when this monster becomes usable. If you have this monster at rank 1 you just give him some life room so he can really tank. But you're good to go. Alright um, now we need to see his stats and how he compares to other monsters in the game. Okay so clearly what matters the most about this monster is his life stats. We are looking at one of the highest life stats in the game sadly out of Sloth Thunder. 140,990 very very tanky life stats the average of course being 143k in terms of a power stat it does not matter what this monster's power stat is he's not going to be attacking it is 10,736 tied without a fropsy and Simon colby but again not really needed doesn't really matter in terms of a speed stat this monster is the second slowest monster in the game and i still don't understand what happened with debunka why is he the only one at 7,000? It's like SP just messed up on this keyboard or something. I don't know. Well, I don't know why they made him 77. But yeah, Boss is the second slowest. The average speed stat being 8421. Again, all that really matters with this monster is that life stats. And he does deliver with a tanky life stat. Okay, time to look at skills. We have J's on my feet. Applies blind to an enemy. Applies a 30%, 33% life shield to itself. I like this. I don't think we've seen Tom monsters that really reduce accuracy against a monster at the same time they shield themselves. This is pretty unique. So you reduce the enemy monster's accuracy by 50% and if the enemy monster attacks you and happens to hit you, hey it's cool, you have a 33% shield, 24 stamina, 0 cooldown. You have old but gold, deals low thunder damage to an enemy and daze, that is more accuracy reduction and damage output reduction by 25%. Stay humble, deals low light damage, applies blind to an enemy, another accuracy reduction skill. 30 stamina, 0 cooldown, I gotta say, I prefer J's on my feet more so than stay humble. Just because you don't really want to damage the enemy, because that's when you trigger the relics and the talents and it can get annoying. Represent, deals low thunder damage to an enemy and applies 33% life shield to all allies, so this time your whole entire team gets a 33% life shield. Okay, I can dig that, one turn cooldown. We have Pretty Draco, deals moderate thunder damage to an enemy, applies Mega Taunt, and a 50% life shield to itself. Now here's what I'll say. If you partner this monster up with dodge area teammates, you do not need to be applying Mega Taunt. In fact, it is not to your benefit to apply Mega Taunt, because normally when the enemy does an AoE, you just take the damage. Your allies, they have area dodge, so they don't take any damage. But if you set up the Mega Taunt, you will now take 3x damage. Now granted, you do give yourself a medium shield, which helps out, but still, you're absorbing three times the attack that you normally would. It's not necessary. Don't do it. We have Golden Smile applies Daze and Blind to our enemies and a 30% life shield to our allies. I love this skill. Severely reducing enemy accuracy. I think the total is 67.5% accuracy reduction. And you're shielding not just you, but your teammates. Very nice. We have Like a Rex Star. Deals moderate thunder damage to enemies, applies taunt to itself. So a way for you to reinstate taunts, especially if you're not at least rank 1. Pretty cool. Moving down, I guess not even reinstate, instate for the first time. Bulletproof Chain deals moderate light damage to one enemy, applies blind, and once again, a 33% life shield. I gotta say, for a taunt monster, if you don't have any other taunt monster, definitely one you want to rank up. If you do have other taunt monsters, this guy's still not bad because he's reducing accuracy, and reducing accuracy comes in clutch so much. 
If I was to run this monster, I would 100% recommend Jay's on my feet. It's a default skill, but one of the best skills this monster has in my opinion. I would give this monster the Golden Smile, the blind end days to everyone. Granted, AoEs aren't that beneficial in a world of dodge areas, um, but I, I think it's still worth it. Um, we're going to go with, we're, not the Mega Taunt, Applies Taunt, we don't need that. Bulletproof Chain, I want to say yes. Whoops, yes. Wait, I'm confusing myself. Oh, um, where is it? Bulletproof, Blind, yes. And that final skill, what am I doing? Okay, yes, yes, okay. What am I doing? Bulletproof, there we go, okay, cool. Why, wait, okay, this keeps happening. I want Golden Smile. Then I scroll down, I want Bulletproof, okay. Why does it keep doing that? Okay, I'm not crazy. Jay's on my feet. Golden Smile, I'm gonna exit out. Golden Smile. What the heck is going on? Guys, I can't change the skill set on this monster. I thought I was crazy for a sec. Change? Okay, Jay's Golden Smile. What the heck is going on? Um, not the Mega Taunt, not the Taunt. Bulletproof. It goes all the way up. What is going on? Jay's on my feet. Golden Smile, Jay's. Stay humble, represent. 33% life shield, Taunt, don't care that, don't care that. Bulletproof. What the heck is going on? Okay, the funny part is most of the time you really only need one skill. What the heck? I am like more amused by what's happening. It's not meant to be, I can't edit the monster skills. What the heck? Okay, golden, the, the main skill I need is that free skill, Jay's on my feet. So let's make sure we have that. What the heck? Have you guys seen this? I literally can't change anything. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta click on it now? What the heck since when? See how it's not how it has to be blue? Is that why? Jay's on my feet. I swear, is this a new change? That's a dumb change. Okay, Jay's on my feet, golden smile. I think I just wasted like an hour of everyone's life. Um Uh Blind. So stay humble, click, there it is. And then the blind skill, spammable, there it is. All right, 50% shield, no, 33%, yes. Stay humble with this, there it is. You gotta click on both now. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Rexstar, blind, represent, 38% life shield to all allies, or another blind, I feel like we already have a blind over here. We have a blind 33% life shield to itself, so it's not needed. You know what, if you really wanted, like, maybe the Megaton comes in handy for some situation. Go for it. So we'll keep it. But yeah, here we go. Finally, I got a decent skill set on the monster. My goodness, the ultimate, by the way, applies 100% life shield and stamina regen and applies Megatons. Relics-wise, I mean, just give them whatever shield you have. Let's go with this. Give them whatever amulet. There are stamina recovery amulets, so you can do that. And then I would say this is one of those um, black hole monsters. Maybe one of your allies dies because it's a Pierce monster. This monster can stay alive in res. Um, there's, we are having like healing talents you can give him. So whatever just suits him to survive longer. Uh, we are going to give this monster, depending what rank you are. Again, if he's a low rank, you want to give him more life. If he's a higher rank, like mine's rank 5, I would say team speed and a single life rune. So something like this, team speed, life. And now we're good to partner up with dodge area teammates. And so this would have to be probably one of the easiest teams I use. I love to use this when there's a top monster. 
So two Dodger monsters, one's a supportive one, you all know her, Amonia, and then the other monster is a strong attacker, so this is the kind of combination you can utilize. Um, because again, I'm going to be absorbing all the single target attacks and the AoEs don't harm my teammates. So let's take out this monster into PvP and let's see how much useful he's going to be. For those of you new to the channel, I'm not allowed to win. That would be unfair for me to win with a monster that was given to me by SP for the sole purpose of an exclusive first look. And so with that being said, I will be exiting out of the battles. But now we run into the issue of player versus player. It is so repetitive, it never changes, it's always the same. Pierce, Revival. Doesn't even matter if they have taunts, the enemy can attack whoever he wants. But this is why you run the resurrection talents on this monster. So even if he does pierce and kill me, hey, I'm okay. He's not going to harm me too much. Alright, whoops, I messed up the turn order. So we'll just do that. Alright, we'll do we'll blast an AoE. Oh, actually, we'll just go single. Boom. Okay, let's see what happens. So Nimbus got hit with a lot of dots. Oof, this is where the shields come in handy. So Jay's on my feet. Blind. He's not immune to blind. And a 33% life shield to itself. Days and blind to all enemies. We're going to go with this one instead. To really reduce accuracy, it was a miss, miss. And I just got wrecked with an alt. Okay. Turn transfer to myself. Cleanse. Damage boost. Attack. Turn transfer. Let's give him another chance. Oh wow, he actually kills with this skill. How are you killing with this skill? So this is the only opportunity I'll get to kill Cherub Cupid with my with my dinosaur. We're doing it. I will let Uriel revive. Oh. That was uh not supposed to happen. I wanna I said a turn chance. This is why dots are so powerful. Essence, burnt blood. And again, Pierce bypassing all that. So yeah. There we go. On to the next battle we go. So the monster itself is straightforward. I do like him. Um, I, I still maintain that it means a torture. That's what is needed on top monsters. That's what will make them really stand out. Look at that. We happen to face the same team again. Again, PvP meta, it's always the same thing over and over and over again. Does not change. Damage boost. Cleanse. We'll go to Connect Row. We can Blast maybe. Or a single maybe. 708, look at that. Boom, 1.5 million damage. Alright, Essence, Sigil, Nimbus, again, all the dots. It's, it's basically a repeat of last game. Um, boom, look at all that crazy damage. And in this case, I'll, I'll do the Megaton to kill him. If I survive. Oh, so many dots. 50% life shield, again, it could come in handy, especially... Yeah, especially, like, you, you get that 50% shield... Even if you take 3x damage, with that 50% shield, that nullifies it by a bit. Let's say you have 100 HP. You Let's say you were to take 30. That's an AoE, so 90. But now you have 150, so there's 60 left over. Yeah, it's, it still nullifies by a good chunk. Um, let's turn transfer to you so you can survive. Um, 33%. Remember, the shields will override. I hear this is blind. Um, I mean, he could attack, do whatever. Holy res, arrow... I'll do one more battle. At the end of the day, the monster itself, super straightforward. Nothing too crazy about him. Destiny, recharge, and yeah. We'll do one more battle. Exit out. Fight. Let's see. We have... Serpentex. Galvanus. And an Uriel. Alright. I'm gonna... Go ahead and cleanse. Oh, wow. Normally he does enlightenment. Um, you know what? I'm not going to give him a chance. Let's just blast an AoE. Uh, let's blast another AoE. Awesome. Calamitous. Recharge. Uh, turn transfer. Enlightenment. Uh, I mean, I guess in this case, it's like if he's the main threat right here, Serpent X, this is where we go for the accuracy reduction. So we're going to go ahead and do the Daze and Blind. Blinded worked. Let's see how useful. Let's kill you. Let's see how useful his AoE is if he's blinded. Oh, he still hit me. I think he hit me. I don't even know. 
Um, let's go for it again. You're still blind. Let's go for the days. Meanwhile, I'll give you my shield. There we go. Turn transfer over here. The Falcon. Darn you! Boom. All right, you guys get the idea. Tom monster dodge area. Straightforward. I feel like there hasn't been anything new or crazy in the game. So I'll leave you guys with that. What do you guys think about Boss Directs? Any thoughts and comments below? Thank you very much. And remember to subscribe.